Sims players out there um, That is the world that you get if you buy the extension pack that is called Cats and Dogs And I got this pack as a present from Jubilee Whispers How awesome is that? She actually sent it to me as a Christmas present And um, it's March <laughs> Guys, the last couple of weeks have been so chaotic and hectic with the lockdown and the daycare closed and um, yeah I think it's been I, I don't even remember when I uploaded my last video um, and then this weekend uh, I felt a little bit better again the daycare is open again and um, I got some work done some work that um, was long overdue and I felt a little bit more at ease and relaxed so I figured I would from now on upload three whisper videos a week on Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night um, and then today's Wednesday so I, I didn't even get around to doing it yesterday um, I, I kind of needed a break I decided anyway here I am and I just played The Sims uh, and I recorded the gameplay so that is what you are looking at here so what I did here I decided to play The Sims like like a new game I deleted everything and I started a completely new game I wanted it to feel fresh and new um, so I deleted all my old save games and just I, I just started over completely and I decided to play just for the fun of it so not worrying about um, recording videos or whatever so I've been playing with this house and this family uh, for about a week now I think um, and I'm having so much fun so I just thought uh, I wanted to record a whisper video but I also wanted to play so I thought let's just turn <laughs> uh, you know let's just combine those two and turn the gameplay into a whisper video and that way I can do both uh, so let me tell you, I started out with uh, Mimsy That is the woman that lives in this house The one with the broken heart above her head now The one that you see standing there outside She's actually pregnant at the moment And not uh, just pregnant, she's pregnant of her third child So yeah, I've been playing with this family for a while I started out with her as a, and as a single person with a cat You can see the cat down below, uh, she's probably around somewhere, not sure um, and then slowly well yeah, first of all she built a tiny house, and that is the very very small, smallest tier, the most small I can't speak guys um, and that has some upsides in the game, because if you live in a tiny house a lot of things are easier and cheaper, and people are happier and stuff like that um, and then she met uh, Brent that is this guy in the yellow sweater and at first he was married to somebody else to, um, they were the neighbors and um, well my sim ended up uh, getting a relationship with him and getting pregnant like right away so in the end he decided to divorce from his husband um, so yeah clearly he's bisexual and um, we are actually now again friends again with the uh, former husband that took a while clearly things got uh, tough although they were pretty respectful about it they um yeah anyway now uh, Brent uh, moved in with Mimsy and now they all live in this tiny house and as you can see we've pretty much expanded so there's a lot of furniture now outside um, but we didn't want to expand the house because we wanted to keep the birds and also I love a tiny house like this so basically for example the bed where the parents sleep is standing outside under this huge tree oh you'll, you'll see me doing this a bunch of times by the way taking screenshots because I wanted to take a nice screenshot that I could use for the thumbnail of this whisper video um, but then again I wasn't happy with results so I just kept trying and in the end I kind of gave up I think I liked one a little bit one of um, one of the children in the bath tub with a lot of bubbles so uh, yeah we'll see um, anyway here you see uh, the oldest child he is called Justin he's playing the violin at the moment uh, you can see the uh, Mimsy both her and Brent are actually pretty good painters 
at this point they can both um, well create paintings and then, then sell them and that way they can earn more than enough money I haven't used any uh, money cheats by the way or no cheats at all like like you know the, the cheat codes I, I use the, the codes to um, uh, to place the furniture wherever I want but other than that I haven't been using any cheats I've just been buying stuff from the money that I got myself although I must say when Brent divorced and moved in with me I decided to um, uh, take half of his money with him which makes sense I guess but sure that was some money that we got into the household because of that but then again we also lost a bunch of money because at first when my sim got pregnant with Justin she decided to move in with Brent and the ex-husband which looking back now seems kind of silly but yeah that's what, what we did that's what we thought made sense they are all pretty young they're still young adults Brent and Mimsy now so um yeah that and I mean Brent lived in a very huge house so it just felt like it made sense so then actually we, we lost quite a bit of money because when we realized it wasn't working at first Mimsy decided that she was gonna move out and live by herself again so she moved back into this house but by that point she couldn't choose to live in the house um, the way it was all the furniture was gone and I still don't understand why um, because I thought when she was moving out that I chose the option to leave the furniture there but I had expected um, that that would mean that the furniture would stay in the house and that she could easily return but apparently she would have needed to take it with her in order to place it down again long story short the furniture was all gone so not only did she need to rebuy the house that she already lived in now she also needed to rebuy all the furniture so then a little while later when Brent decided to join her after all um, yeah it just makes sense to take half of his money and uh, add that to the family household income so yeah that way we did have a little bit of money again so here you can see both children uh, Justin is a child like a school child he just aged, aged up from being a toddler and the other boy is called Jonah and he just became a toddler he was a baby and he is now a toddler um, and I think that I'm gonna age up them age them up again when Mimsy uh, will have her baby so that at that point we will have oh no that does not make sense they can still stay the same like this so that we have a baby a toddler and a child and then by the time that the baby turns into a child uh, no toddler the toddler can turn into a child and the child can turn into a teen I think um, anyway what's really nice is that now I do have the cats and dogs expansion pack and I also have the parenthood expansion pack I bought that one for myself uh, I think in December or at the start of January I think I, I don't know somewhere around that time and I haven't really played with that all that much um, meaning that although I uh, they have the pack already and I used some of the build items already in some builds um, I haven't really experimented with the actual gameplay uh, so now I actually have a lot more options to interact with both the cat and also a lot of dogs but obviously I chose a cat um, and also with the children to help them with their homework and their you know just basically parenting <laughs> so uh, that's really interesting to me to see and I also tried to create this house that looked cozy um, I'm actually pretty happy about it uh, oh this might actually look nice for a thumbnail with the cats and I don't know we'll see who see them kiss they're actually they're in this very loving relationship that's even why the three children are there I mean the first one kind of happens I kind of like I mean you can choose to either just have sex or try for a baby and I even think I just tried for a baby 
because I just, I felt like she was so much in love and she was young and I don't know, it just, just it happened. Um, and then with the second one, that kind of happened really fast after her giving birth. And then I decided, well, let's not do it anymore. So if, if they wanted to, ooh, ooh, as it's called in The Sims, I just chose the regular option. And now I'm not sure if that way you cannot get pregnant at all. Maybe not, because you can also actively try for a baby. Or if the chances are just lower, I don't know. But anyway, she was not getting pregnant. And I felt good about that because I felt two children is enough. Because it's kind of hard to deal with these children. Um, but then, at one point, it was one of her wishes uh, to try for another baby. And then I thought, well, okay, let's just do it. And actually, by then, they were both pretty good at the painting thing. So we earned quite a lot of money. And as you can see here to the left, that elderly woman with the long gray hair and the red sweater. Um, that is a nanny. So now we're just hiring a nanny, like, full-time, so the nanny's always around. Like, literally, always. She doesn't go home when she never sleeps. I don't really know how that works, but um, I have the option to give her a tip, so I regularly do that. <laughs> uh, and so far, she's still alive, so I don't know. Um, so I've hired a nanny, and that's actually nice. And actually, at the end, I think it might be in this video, although I'm not sure, but in the end, I also decided to hire a uh, cleaner so that the parents just have some more time to, uh, you know, basically deal with everything. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh yeah, there is the cleaner already. I think I hired him apparently pretty early on in this episode. I didn't remember. So now the cleaner is taking care of like the dishes and the trash and cleaning stuff and uh, the people that live in the home can still do it as well, obviously, but it's not like they have to do it all the time, so that just is a little bit easier on them, I think. And what I'm really enjoying is that I don't have any goals for this, I'm just doing whatever I like doing, and actually I'm playing with it, because usually I just like to build stuff, but actually the gameplay um, is kind of nice as well, and I am, I am looking forward to trying some uh, mods so that I get more options and the game becomes more interesting um, But yeah, that's something that I still have to explore for now with all the new packs There's actually a lot to explore that I haven't explored yet. So um, Yeah, that's good So here, oh yeah here actually the the cleaner person is new because here at the table they just um, introduced themselves to him so uh, yeah Oh, now here, my sim, Mimsy, she's knitting. It makes no sense that she's doing it there on her knees. Um, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's just silly. Um, I also really enjoyed choosing these different colored chairs and this table. Uh, although I should maybe get a bigger table at this point because um, the third child is some. Um, about to be born. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, here I actually tried to buy a vet clinic. I failed miserably. <laughs> the thing is, the um, the vet clinic uh, that is one of the new gameplay options that you get if you have the cats and dogs expansion pack. Uh, and I'm not really sure, but you can be a business owner owning a vet clinic. <laughs> um, but when I tried to do it. Um, well, yeah, I find out that I would need 78,000 simoleons, even a little bit more, so clearly I do not have that much money. Um, so maybe I could save up, but it's not something that I desperately wanted to do, I was just curious because it's a new option. Uh, and I don't have the um, get to work expansion packs, actually I'm pretty excited to buy more expansion packs, basically to buy them all now. I would really like to explore the seasons one and also the get to work one or the one with the active careers. Um, however, uh, I don't have money to do all that now and I thought it would maybe be nice to, um, as, you, as 
small business owner and I'm just starting out so I do not have like a regular income yet um, and I thought I could maybe use these packages as rewards you know to motivate me to work harder on earning money and then when I do I can get these as rewards and I feel like um, the packs usually are I don't know I think the most expensive ones are like 50 euros and some are like half of that or even just ten dollars and then again they're often they're often seals so if you wait a little bit you can usually get whatever you want for 50% off um, so I figured that way it would be a nice number as a reward like a, a, a big enough present that it's really something that will make me happy and that I'm not buying on a regular basis because I'm still living pretty frugally since you know I now have to live off whatever I'm making myself um, but at the same time it isn't like too expensive like you know like 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 I'm just being irresponsible by paying that money it feels like a nice amount and something that will just add to the game and um, also it's okay that I don't have them all right now because there's still stuff to explore that I haven't explored yet with the packs that I bought I don't know I think it was at the end of December they also had a seal and I bought a couple of them um, so yeah so let's see what's actually going on. Oh yeah, by the way, look at my roof. It's so pretty. I just love the roof so much. And all the little lights everywhere and the yellow and the wood. And then I have this bathtub outside because, well, why not? <laughs> um, it's on the other side as the sink in the kitchen. I'm just thinking about that now, but it does actually make sense plumbing wise. Uh, and then one more thing. I don't know where this world is situated, but I've only ever had sunny days um, and how that might change if I would buy these seasons back because that means that you actually get seasons so it might be snowy sometimes you know um, but so far so good it's just we live in a sunny world apparently so I think it works totally well like this and we can just do a lot of stuff outside and it's fine um, and um, yeah so that's what we're doing uh, oh, by the way, my sim looks pretty pregnant. I think she's already in the second trimester. Uh, I did a check for a while. It might even be third, but I don't think so. I don't know. And look at this little, um, little piece of the garden. I would like to add more plants. I like it when it's really lush and green and, you know, colored plants and flowers. Uh, but actually, it's quite expensive to buy plants. So I'm slowly getting there. Uh, and that's actually also really nice what I used to do is just buy houses and not think about the money so just basically I would buy I would build the house of my dreams or at least that's what I would try <coughs> and with this gameplay I'm slowly adding to the house and it's actually been quite a lot of fun so yeah I'm, I'm enjoying that by the way I did build one house earlier I, I've even deleted it now but when I just got these cats and dogs back from Jubilee Whispers then I bought no then I built a like cabin in the woods and I was just basically to uh, experiment with the building and I don't know just to just, just to build uh, and I think I, I still have the recording of that I didn't turn it into a whisper video yet but I can and I will <laughs> Yeah, here it starts to take pictures again. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably upload this tonight, even though today's Wednesday and um, I don't know, I could do it tomorrow and start like the upload schedule. Um, I don't know, I feel like three a week is something that I can easily manage. And then uh, I'm trying to also upload one a week for my Patreon peeps. Um, I have this patron tier where you get one monthly extra whisper video without ads uh, but I'm trying to make more of them but I don't know lately it's been wow I don't know how you're all doing but it was a chaotic time <laughs> um, and even that I that chaotic that when night time came I didn't even have energy to play the sims anymore and I would just watch YouTube videos usually of other people playing the sims <laughs> which is also fun but I feel like um, I just was so 
So that would be enough room usually to create all meals. Uh, and then 
tried to change that first, but I couldn't really. Um, and I'm still not sure why it is happening. Uh, but in the end, I decided to put two counters on top of each other, and that actually solved it. Uh, so here, I'm just <laughs> making a mess, basically. <laughs> um, let me see, so now I deleted uh, that one. Then uh, I tried to see if this one would fit, but it's the same problem. The problem just persists. So now I think... Uh, here I was like clueless, like it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So this is actually something that I like. So I think at this point I uh, bought another one and I put that on top of... Oh no, I even tried to buy one with a like kind of cut no, like a sitting area. But that just made it the problem even worse. Like, I mean, no, that's <laughs> not gonna solve it. By the way, if you play The Sims and you know what's going on here, or you know if there's a solution, please let me know. Um, but here I decided to take one of these thingies and just put it on top of the other one and that way it looks good and from this way it looks kind of silly because there is this handle um, but then clearly you can't use it but it feels like it's a secret door or something so that could actually be nice I don't know, you know, I'm kind of using my fantasy by the way, by the way I really like these counters especially with the mint green uh, stuff, you know, the mint green uh, applic applications, applicants, applicants. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Um, applications. No, I don't know the stuff. Um, the stove <laughs> and the dishwasher. And I think I'm also changing the uh, fridge here because so far I did not have a very expensive fridge, just a white one, a plain one, which is okay. But I think because I already, yeah, oh yeah, here I tried to see if it would work, you know, but it still doesn't work cooking the food. Um, so at this point, I uh, gave up basically, <laughs> and I um, I changed, I changed the uh, fridge. That's basically what I did, and that's it. I think. Oh, let's see. Oh no, I tried one more time to cook. And still she's saying like, no, there's not, not enough space. So I don't know what she needs for this. Maybe she's, I mean, she has like a cooking level 10. So maybe she's gonna throw stuff around and she just needs like six empty squares around her or something. In that case, I mean, no, there isn't enough space and there's nothing that I can do. Uh, except for building a bigger house. But um, so far the house is 32 tiles and that is the limit for the smallest tier of the house that gives them the most benefits during life so that's the one that I chose so here they get the fancy um, the fancy kitchen the fancy fridge and now I'm just adding some more stuff to the game just like little little things we're getting to the end of the video actually um, so I'm curious to know what you think of this house uh, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do and um, I don't know I'm in love with the sims again and not only to watch the videos but you know it's like I am um, uh, I just love playing again so you can look forward to me creating some more whisper videos about the sims um, some more cats and dogs ones uh, maybe some more gameplay ones it could maybe be nice to just you know create a family and share their story and then like longer term i tried doing that before but i feel like i wasn't um happy enough with the way that the houses looked uh because i'm still you know learning to to build oh i was struggling so much with this thing and um yeah <laughs> anyway uh uh, but I feel like this house already looks a lot better even though it's like insanity what's going on outside <laughs> but I feel that's also good for the gameplay I'm just like they um, they're kind of this eccentric family this creative family painters you know they don't have regular jobs but they're just kind of out there but they are actually pretty much you know they love each other and um, they're actually they take good care of each other and it's eccentric and unusual but 
So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for 